What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to compare the Theragun and the Opav M3 Pro Max percussion massage gun. Check it out. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you are familiar with this percussion massage gun. This is the Theragun. Um, this is kind of the one that started it all. Uh, and when it first hit the market, it was like $700. Now because of that, you immediately started to see people trying to figure out a way to create a cheaper version. Uh, people started selling these uh, attachment heads and people were just attaching them to jigsaws, just stuff like that. And some of the first knockoffs or just cheaper brands were really, really bad. If you go into my videos, you'll see one that I did a few years ago that's in that, that was so horrible I had to wear earplugs, it was so loud. Fast forward to a, like a little over a year ago and we have so many options on the market now. I'd say within the last couple years, some great, great options that are just as good, I say, are even better for half the price. The Theragun has not lowered its price by much. The Theragun still is, $600 for the pro version. I think the elite version is $400. And then there's this version, which is the prime version, which is the only version I was willing to spend money on because I am not spending $600 for video. No, it's just not gonna happen. And so this is the Theragun Prime that retails for $300 right now. So now I have the Opav M3 Pro Max. This isn't a massage gun that I initially was on, that was initially on my radar at all. Um, I. If you look at all my videos, there's a lot of massage guns that I had reviewed over the years, and this was one that wasn't really I really didn't know about, probably because the the name that I, I think I hope I'm saying that right, Opav, and then there's a lot behind it because there's another version that's a not as high quality as this one. This is the M3 Pro Max version. I recently did a video where I uh, reviewed 14 of the top uh, massage guns. And I will put that card or that link up here on the top corner of this video so you can check that out. And that is a very thorough review of all 14 of the top brands of percussion massagers. And then, of course, my recommendation as to which ones I feel are the best out of those 14 guns. In this video, we are doing a head-to-head -head with these two percussion massagers. Now, this is looks more, and it looks like it's more modeled after a Hypervolt but I don't have my Hypervolt anymore. I was so disappointed with that gun, which again was between three dollars $500, that I actually returned it. It was, anyway. So I actually decided to put it up against the Theragun for that reason. Okay, starting with specs, let's go head to head with these two. The Theragun Prime is, uh, costs $299. The battery life is listed as two hours. Uh, the noise decibel level is 78. The weight is about 2.2 pounds and the stall force is 30. I'm gonna say that all that is accurate. Um, the battery, I cannot stand the battery on the Theragun. That thing, as I'm using it at night, and I probably use it for a long time, I watch TV shows and I, I try to get every inch of my body, anything that feels tender, but that thing does not, it, I have to recharge it every time I use it. The battery is trash on that Theragun uh, Prime. The weight is accurate. And the decibels are pretty high in comparison to some of the other guns that I've reviewed. And especially compared to the Opav M3, uh, it is much louder than that gun. So the Theragun is actually 
not quiet, but when you go to their website, they hail it as a super quiet massage gun. I don't know if maybe at the initial time that it was made in comparison to other massage gun, it was quieter, but now with everything on the market now, it is not quiet. And the stall force is only 30, but I, I think it's a little higher because I pushed that Theragun pretty deep into my muscles and I don't have any issue with stall force. And I will say openly that the one thing that the Theragun I believe has over the Opav is that it does feel a bit stronger. Now the Opav M3 Pro Max retails at 199 and it is it has a battery life of four hours, uh, noise decibel level of 63, it weighs 2.3 pounds, and it has a stall force of 50. So it states that it has a higher stall force, but I don't know. Um, it, it, I guess I pushed both of them up against my muscles pretty hard, and I didn't have a problem with either one. So I think the stall force is strong on both of those guns. I believe the weight to be accurate. They're both pretty light, and they both feel about the same. Where the M3 Pro Max is much better than Theragun is definitely battery life. Where the Theragun does beat the Opav is, again, I feel that it, it is stronger. It just has a stronger percussion. But the Opav has a smoother percussion. So I like smooth percussion. That's why you've heard me say that on other massage gun videos. But uh, the Theragun, again, is a bit feels a bit stronger. But I think the Opav is much smoother in the percussion. And, of course, the noise, I've already mentioned that. The Opav is much, much quieter than the Theragun Prime. Now, the Theragun comes with four heads, and the Oprav M3 comes with five heads, so there's that factor. As far as design, uh, this is designed after the Hypervolt. It's, it's fine. It gets everywhere I need it. It doesn't feel cumbersome in the way that I maneuver it. Um, my wife does like the Theragun design. She is a fan of that as far as how you can uh, maneuver it around, grabbing it by different grips here. I see the benefit of it of that from time to time but not enough to spend that much more money on it. So overall, this is much more affordable than the Theragun Prime, which is the low end of the Theragun uh, Massage Gun series. It's the lower, it's the, the cheapest one. The most affordable Theragun is the Theragun Prime at 300, and this comes in way under that. So if I'm put these two head to head with the comparison that I just did with what you get and what they, how they perform, I'm gonna say that the Opav wins hands down as far as First, number one, the price. But for that price, I believe overall you're getting a better product. You have a more battery life, it's quieter, the percussion is smoother. It may not be as strong, but it is smoother. And oh, you know, you get one additional attachment. And lastly, it comes in this really cool case. I mean, a really dope case, you know, that has all the all the accessories in it, where the Theragun Prime doesn't even come with a case. It comes with a little satchel. Lastly, small thing, um, I love the screen on this thing I, well at first i kind of like the color it's like this matte black color it's real soft it looks kind of rubbery i think that's really cool but i love the screen i mean it's it's just a nice digital readout it's in green i just like i know it's a weird thing but i like that readout that looks really cool you have your battery life oh one last thing that the opop has it does have an auto setting where you can set like your your percussion to auto where it kind of the tempo goes up and then it goes down it kind of sets in this auto so that's cool you have manual and auto that's another thing that the theragun doesn't have okay guys so there you go uh, i'm going to recommend the opav m3 pro max over the theragun prime if you're looking at those two this again this is just kind of a head-to-head -head thing but again i'm going to repeat i have a great video that compares 14 video uh 14 of the top brands of percussion massagers and see my take on all the guns okay so thank you for watching. Again, please like and subscribe so we can keep this thing going. If you enjoy the content, we appreciate the love. Remember, keep fighting for fit, no excuses, and we will see you in the next video.